Yo yo YouTube, Kabel and Kansler, and today I'm here with a team builder. And I'm not too, uh, alone today, I'm here with a friend of mine. Hey, what up guys, it's Lucas here. Yeah, I'm, uh, I built this team with a friend of mine, uh, Lucas. Uh, he's a pretty good Ubers uh, player and uh, an amazing builder, so... I uh, <laughs> Too much praise. No. But... Uh, we want. Uh, I wanted to build a team around Mega Kangscan. Um, the reason for that is I have no idea because I don't know. It's just uh, a nice mom. So uh, the set that we are running is just a. Um, it's not the standard set I feel like, but um, Lucas said that it would work better than the uh, standard set because this is jolly, so it outspeeds some. Uh, some mods like Max B D Veltarl and what are mods? Um like mods like uh, Requ Jolly Requesa, uh Ladios and Ladias, the Lady twins. They basically always are uh, modest, not timid. Because Timid doesn't really do anything for them, so you add speed those as well. You can hit them up with an ice punch. Yeah. Knock them out. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much the reason that we run Jolly over Adamant. Um, the moveset is just double edge for um, sheer force. The, um, earthquake is um, to hit, uh, hit steel types and like Primal Groudon. Ice Punch is for like mods like Rayquaza and Lottie Twins, like we said. And just ice is a good typing in uh, in Ubers. In, uh, in, in general, it's a good offensive yeah. typing. So uh, yeah. ice, move, ice moves never. Good. And fake out just so we can get a free mega off and uh, enter our mega phase like that. And just get that good damage, break the sashes. Yeah. Stuff like that. The next one is Arceus Ghost. And the reason why we went with Arceus Ghost is mainly because of other um, mega gunks and um, E Killer. Because E Killer can be just a nuke in general. So we uh, we met Arceus Ghost on this team. Uh, Arceus Ghost in general is just a, it's a good partner for Kangaskhan. It gets rid of the um, you have a switch in for fighting fighting moves now, like web teams, Mega Lucario stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, Focus Blast stuff like that, and you can just it's an equaler check as well, and every team needs an equaler check. Indeed. Um, the set that we are running is another Jollymon. Um, it is a SD set with Shadow Force, Brick Break, Extreme Speed. We are doubting on putting Shadow Claw over Extreme Speed to hit um, other ghost types um, when playing mind games like Protect Mega Gengar so, uh, or such. But Extreme Speed worked out in the end, so uh, we kept Extreme Speed on it. A shadow Claw is basically for um, when your opponent has a Ghost type, a Mega Gengar or something like that. Yeah. And uh, an E Killer or a Normal type. Basically, the only Normal type in Ubers is E Killer or Mega Kangaskhan. So that they can like switch in and out. And since Shadow Force is a two turn move, they can go into Arceus when you go for Shadow Force basically because you're forced to. Yeah. And yeah, then they can set up and just go for Shadow Claw or something like that. Yeah, so it's um, we ended up just running extreme speed because a plus two extreme speed does nuke a lot of people. Um, then the next mon is Cloister. Cloister is a it might be a UU mon, but it's quite interesting in Ubers because it's a toxic spike setter, which is pretty nice. You can whittle down opponents, which is always good. Like Primal Groudon whittling down that thing is always nice. And um, it can actually set up shell uh, with a shell smash as well, so that Icicle Spear can hit some mods like um, Lead Deoxys. It's not very common, I feel like, but we can kind of counter it if it doesn't go for Taunt, which is pretty nice. It's just uh, Cloister is just a great lead in general, and universe, I feel. And the ability to set up Toxic Spikes is always. Nice, you know, it's one of the best. You have Scalopede and Cloister based to set up Toxic Spikes and Ubers. I feel like just Cloister is the best option there is. It can Shell Smash on a lot of stuff. A lot of Mons are Ice Weak or getting to it KO'd by Icicle Spear once it gets the Shell Smash up. So if 
you don't break the sash very soon, it will KO stuff. And it still has the ability to set up Toxic Spike, so it can avoid stuff like Sucker Punch and that as well. Yeah, so that's basically uh, Cloyster. Um, the set that we are running, we are once again running a Jolly Max Attack one. Um, just because after a shell smash it can do some damage and you can set up Toxic Spikes like very fast, which is pretty nice. So, um, the next mom we went with is uh, Primal Groudon. What a big surprise uh, to see that thing on a team. <laughs> we went with a uh, just a Stealth Rock Setter with Thunder Wave and we put um, Rock Slide over Stone Edge just because of the fact that you can Para Flinch, which is pretty nice. Um, with this spread, we can take some hits from Xerneas, which is always nice. And it's a speed creep to someone's, right? This um, this Primal Groudon, well, Primal Groudon is basically the dawn of Ubers. And this uh, specific set is uh, uh, something that uh, was come up with by my boy uh, Amfuga, so shout out to Amfuga. <laughs> um, it's basically um, the normal uh, special defensive Primal Groudon set, so, but this one has... Um, more speed creep than a normal one has since uh, nowadays a lot of primal grounds run speed creeps and you don't want to lose that because you will get KO'd then. Uh, well, two shot then. But um, this one basically loses uh, a little bit of defense, I think, and just gets as more speed. While the special defense stays the same as normally. Um, plus nature special defense plus 108 is the same as 200 special defense, which the, the normal standard. Uh, defensive set runs. Yeah. So you don't. You basically lose a little bit of defense for speed, which is a pretty and, fair trade-off. Yeah. Yeah. So our next mon is Xerneas, and we went with a Scarf Xerneas um, with Sleep Dog. So we have a Sleep Father, which is always nice with this Dark Rye and Dark Void running around this tier. We did put Geomancy uh, as, as its third move slot, just because if um, if a knockoff, um, if our scarf is knocked off, we can also uh, almost, almost anytime choose for Geomancy if we want to. And a funny fact, with, which I didn't know, is that if you are put to sleep and you go for Sleep Talk, it never hits Geomancy because it's a two-turn move, which is pretty interesting so that's uh, yeah. the scarf Cernius in general is just a great a great Pokemon especially versus hyper offense which is yeah basically the most common place down this tier and um, Geomancy is just like you just said um, it can't be pulled by sleep out because it's a two turn move so you have a 100 still keep the 100% chance to roll Moonblast and the Geomancy is just there for like situations like, um, for example, your opponent has, um, you just have your Xerneas left, and your opponent has like an, an Ivelt or something, and he doesn't know if you're like Scarf or Geomancy or whatever, and he has like a Pedon at 50%, maybe knocks you off, you can click Geomancy, while he thinks I'm gonna sack my Velto and just go into Pedon then to kill it, because if I switch in, I get two hit KO'd. And then you can set up Geomancy, so still kill the Pedon and the Velto. Yeah. Stuff like this. It's very specific, but you don't really lose anything by putting it on it. It's like a 1 in 100 chance that it will be useful, but you don't lose anything by putting it on there. True, indeed. So, uh, our last slot, it was pretty difficult. We. Uh... We thought about a lot of months. It could be Rayquaza, it could have been Rayquaza, it could have been Ladi, but eventually we went with um, Ivelto. Just, it's it's such an amazing mon. I feel like it's pretty underrated for mon, uh, for people that don't usually play Ubers because they think like Cernius is so much better. But Ivelto is a pretty nice mon. It's a life orb. I mean, um, it's strong word. I believe it's called. Yeah, that's a strong, yeah. strong bird, yeah. That's what it's called. Yeah. It has Sucker Punch just for um, priority, Dark Pulse for... Um, just look at that special attack with a uh, Life Orb, it's amazing. Oblivion Wing, um, just another nice tap. And Heatwave for things like Klefki, 
or uh, steel types in general, which is pretty nice. You can um, you can potentially run taunt in this set, but heat wave is what we decided just on heat wave because um, if Klefki gets a free switch and stuff like that, and you just have to T wave because nothing else wants to get paralyzed, for example, or just just to hit stuff like Ferrothorn, may it be there just hard in general. Yeah. It doesn't matter that much if you go for Ton or Heat Wave, but we just chose to go for Heat Wave. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much the, the squad that we uh, came up with. Um, it's basically like Mega Kong Scan, Arceus Ghost, um, Lead Cloyster, Groudon, Xer um, Xerneas, and Eveltal. Do we have anything to say about it? I don't think so. Um, think so either. So that's uh, pretty much uh, the team builder. So um, we will be recording a live with this team builder, which will be coming up the day after. So look out for that. And uh, that's pretty much been the team builder. So uh, I will leave a paid bin to the team in the description so you can pick it off if you want to. And uh, that's basically it. So uh, I will see you guys uh, next time. That tailwind for double speed control. I just went with a standard spread. This um, 111 speed is pretty damn good because of the fact that there are 110 mons like Espion in the steer and it does outspeed.